52 to 22, your final score here in Sevastopol as we're now joined by Gibraltar head coach Mike Peck as we wrap things up here from Institute. And coach, I know obviously not the not the score, not the result that you wanted, but uh, what kind of things can you build on from here? Uh, the, the biggest thing we talked about in the huddle is we were really impressed with the half work tonight. Um, was, we knew they were a tough opponent coming in, and I think maybe, unfortunately for some of our kids, it's it's hard to simulate game speed and practice, and I think some of our kids may have kind of underestimated or forgot exactly, you know, how intense varsity football is, and so we got a lot to build on. I think I think for the kids we had, I mean, with 16, everybody played quite a bit tonight, and uh, there were lots of lots of effort out there, lots of mistakes that we can clean up, and we'll be ready to go. Now you, you ran a kind of a, a dual quarterback situation where you had Sam Lindenberg, you had Luke Steves, and the nice thing that you have too is that sometimes when you run two quarterbacks out there, you got two different styles. It, it doesn't look like there's two different styles for you, so that really keeps the defense guessing. Yeah, we, we're we really fortunate with Sam and Luke. They're both very talented. Um, they do have a little bit different style, um, but the play calling I know from Coach Sawyer doesn't differ. So um, even though, you know, their delivery and, and how they read defenses are a little different, Coach Sawyer has the luxury of not really losing any of his playbook when either of those kids are out there. So it, it helps us. It, it makes our, our offense run more smoothly. And it, and in this situation, with, like I said, with our few kids, it's nice to give one of those kids a break, even if it's at the running back position. They might not necessarily have to think quite as much, and that might help them mentally so they're ready for the defensive next defense. You mentioned you got two weeks until Oakfield. With everything that you're dealing with, you know, short numbers, you had kids coming off quarantine. How important are these two weeks for your team to just get ready and prepared for another game this season? Well, the hardest part's going to be next week's our spring break. So it's actually we're just having voluntary practices two days next week, and then we'll hit it hard. Uh, the following week will be the most important week. We're going to have five days to practice instead of four, so that's going to give us a little extra that we'll be able to work on and give us some time to get out. Hopefully, get outside. Hopefully, the weather you know helps us a little bit more, and we can get outside and have a couple more outdoor practices. It's hard to simulate a lot of the game speed and the hitting when you're inside and, and not fully padded. A very good coach. Well, we'll let you join the team once again. 52-22, your score. We thank you so much for joining us on the broadcast, and we'll see you in two weeks in Oakfield. Sounds good. Thanks, Jim. And that's when we'll join you right here on 105-1 The Goat. I'm Tim Coles. Tanner Bickford also joined us. Brian Major, you also heard his voice as well. We hope you enjoyed the broadcast on the new Radio Sports Network and 105-1 The Goat.